Welcome to Someone Awesome Films, I'm Rob. Let's keep this somewhat short, because I know you want to go out and see this movie again. We're talking about The Desolation of Smog, and it was awesome. I gotta say, I was impressed by this movie. After the first one, which didn't quite captivate me like the original Lord of the Rings movies. I know you shouldn't really compare them, but on a compare scale of films, I think The Lord of the Rings is the most obvious scale you can for The Hobbit, even though the tone is much different. But The Desolation of Smog blew me away. I thought this was the coolest thing I've seen all year. There is so much going on. There's giant spiders. There is a scene where the the uh, dwarves and Bilbo are going down in barrels down a river, and it is just fantastic. Though there are some weird shots in that scene, which are obviously lower quality cameras that go underwater. Uh, they stood out. They only did it like three times, but it was noticeable. Took me out of it a little bit. Uh, and Legolas is back. Lord of the Rings fan. Legolas is back in this because his dad Thranduil played by Lee Pace, is in it, and he's a big mean elf. Uh, so Legolas is his son, played by Orlando Bloom, uh, and if you see this movie, see it in 3D, because Legolas is in this quite a lot, like a ton, uh, and he's joined by a new character created by Peter Jackson, Tario, played by Evangeline Lilly, and uh, if you see, like I said, if you see this in 3D, you're going to love it, because they're just bowing people in the face, shooting arrows all over the place, capping orcs, and uh, in 3D, it looks great. Like, there's a lot, there's a several shots where the 3D is like, it's obvious that that shot is made specifically for 3D, uh, and you will enjoy it more in 3D if you see it in 3D. Uh, now, this is called The Hobbit, but Bilbo really didn't get much screen time in this. He was kind of like, it was more the Dwarves movie. Even, I reckon Killy, uh, Aiden Turner's character, the little dwarf, he gets he gets a bit sick later on in the movie. I reckon he had more time than our good old Bilbo in this film. Play by Martin Freeman. So, I don't know. I felt like Martin Freeman was lacking in it. Gandalf gets his own storyline. He goes off on his own adventure. He's in it quite a bit. Uh, but Bilbo, I don't know. They just they had him in the start with the spiders. He occasionally popped up. And then we went to Lake Town. And he was sort of forgotten. I... I don't even know what he did in Lake Town. I kind of forget now. But uh, of course, they bring it home when he meets Smaug the dragon, voiced by Benedict Cumberbatch. Uh, and it is everything you will ever want it to be. It is fantastic. Smaug is huge and awesome and just one of the best things you will see this year. If you need to go to the toilet, go before the final hour of the film because Smaug, you do not want to miss this. Uh, and of course, Bilbo is there. Bilbo gets to meet him. But then the dwarves come in and kind of like shunt Bilbo away again. But when Bilbo's on screen, Bilbo is the best part of this movie. Like, I enjoy Martin Freeman as Bilbo more than I do uh, Thorin, who is Richard Armitage, is like the main dwarf character. I feel Thorin always brings these movies down. He's such a bummer of a character. Well, Bilbo, you're, you are Bilbo. You're going on this adventure, seeing all these wonderful things with Bilbo, uh, through his perspective, really. Uh, so when you get to the dwarves, and they're just downers and, like, mean and stuff, it's kind of like, ah, oh, I want to go back to Bilbo. Uh, but that's small, that's my feelings on it. If you've seen it, let me know what you think of it, uh, because I thought it was awesome. I'm going to give this movie a 9.5 out of 10.